All right. Well, Polio used to be very common in the United States and caused several illnesses in thousands of people each year before a polio vaccine was introduced in 1955. These days, the polio vaccination is given to young children in order to ensure complete eradication of the disease. Joining us now is someone who knows about the effects of polio firsthand and has made it his lifelong mission to help educate people and further polio research. Grant Wilkins, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Well, your story is just fascinating, and you actually had polio about 60 years ago. 1951 epidemic, Before right? they had a vaccination for it. So That's tell us correct. about that. I, I had bulbar polio. I was 25. I had three children age five and under. Uh, I, my throat was totally paralyzed. I couldn't talk, couldn't swallow. They had to feed me in my veins until I got over the paralysis, which takes 10 days to two weeks. And uh, then my muscles started coming back. They did a tracheotomy, which kept the uh, saliva from going into my lungs, preventing pneumonia, which would have, up till 51, I would have died if I had had that type of polio. So I was very lucky. Wow, and then your wife also had, had polio. Tell us a little bit about her in that situation. She came to visit me. Uh, we only lived a mile from Colorado General, at and Colorado Boulevard, and came to visit me uh, after I was out of isolation, mentioned she didn't feel good since we had small children at home. They said they better do a spinal tap. That's how you determined if you had polio. They found the virus, put her in the ward next to me, and 24 hours later, she was zero from her neck down, totally paralyzed for the remaining 13 years of her life. And we were just seeing pictures mm -hmm. of, of your wife as well as the chamber that she was required to, to be in That's right. for those years. This is such a fascinating story, and of course we could, we could talk a half an hour about this, but really the focus is about vaccination and immunization for polio. Um, since the vaccination in the 50s, polio has really been eradicated in the United States, and most people get vaccinated when they're young children. I think you have two or three uh, vaccinations that you get before you're of age. And it is still very, very important to educate people about polio and the eradication of polio. Why is that so? Well, exactly today, we say it's one plane ride away from any of us anywhere in the world because of jet travel, people can travel so far and bring the virus, and that just happened. And uh, we've only, we've got it down to four countries, India, and, uh, Nigeria, Pakistan, and Afghanistan are the only four countries where it's left. And yet an outbreak occurred last month. A virus crept in from India to Somalia to uh, Republic of Congo. 200 people between the ages of 15 and 25 died from it, and 400 are paralyzed. Wow. So it, it's a nasty disease that can travel in a hurry, mm -hmm. and that's why we hope by 2012 we'll have the entire world polio-free. And that's not very long, just mm -hmm. another year or two, but, yeah. but very scary when you say it's one plane right away. It is. Now, you're a lifelong Rotarian. They even call you Mr. Rotary. Um, and then your, your firsthand experience with, with polio has really been a catalyst for you to engage in the Rotary and their education efforts and fundraising efforts. Tell us about that. Well, we started out uh, having a modest goal of raising 240 million bucks, but uh, Rotarians have contributed a billion dollars today. Wow. But the countries of the world, and then Bill Gates, uh, Bill Gates Foundation has given about $500 million, most recent gift $355 million, which Rotary has to raise another $200 million in matching. Hmm. But to date, we've saved the lives of probably 150 million kids from deaths. We've saved several hundred thousand from being paralyzed for the rest of their life, even though we haven't totally eliminated the disease yet. And it goes to show you that the charitable um, organizations are just as on board as the Rotary is in, in making this a, a mission of their own. Tell us about this bronze statue that you brought with you today. This represents our Polio Plus drive. This is a, a generic Rotarian sitting there administering drops, two drops of vaccine, oral vaccine is how you do it, represented by a little African boy, an Asian girl, and a Caucasian baby. Interesting. Mm -hmm signifying the 200 countries of the world that Rotary is in. Excellent, and as you were saying, the Rotary really has had tremendous success in raising funds and educating people, but what is the goal from here on out on the mission of the Rotary? Well, to get rid of the, the last, we're down the 99.9 .9 yard line of a football game and we're almost mm -hmm. got the ball over the goal line. Mm -hmm. We've only had uh, 30 cases in India this year and 11 in Nigeria where we used to have hundreds or thousands each year. So mm. we're very close, but uh, we still have a lot of work to do to get that 
We, when polio is eradicated, it's important for the public to know that one billion dollars will be saved each and every year wow. from treating polio patients. That's really amazing. So it's a, it's a great goal and we appreciate the support of the public. Well, you're a great Rotarian, Grant Wilkins, and, and a great story. Thank you so much for visiting and sharing with us. We appreciate it. Thank yes. you for having me here. Thank you. Well, to learn more about the Rotary's goal to support immunization campaigns and eradication of polio, log on to endpolionow.com. You can also call 303-946-3142. Fascinating, huh? It is. Absolutely. Absolutely.